Now, all new at 5.30, a successful ending to a story we've been telling you about all month long. It's the cycle for survival, and it raised over $255,000 for cancer research. The second annual event was held this weekend in Virginia Beach. Ten on your side, Andy Fox shows us all those who joined the battle to fight cancer. Cycle for Survival began with Rachel Platten's fight song. That this is my fight song. Take back my life song. Because I've still got a lot of fight left in me. Laura Annan here for her five-year-old son, Tate, who's fighting cancer. Tate's aunt, Heather Lusk. Organizations like this, fundraising like this, is so important. That is what's providing the hope for us. Thank you so much. The message board signed for Tate and for little seven-year-old Ben Goldberg. Both have neuroblastoma. Ben unable to attend. The cancer reality is he's back at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York for more treatments. We're all on Team Tate and Ben's team, too. We are all on Team Ben. Team Ben. Team Ben. Team Ben. One of the largest cycle for survival teams, Monarch Bank. They ride for their founder, Tree Roundtree, who died in June 2011 after a long battle with cancer, his wife Virginia. Tree had an, uh, uh, an attitude that was unbelievable. He never acted like he was sick. He wouldn't let cancer take hold of him. He was, I'm in control of cancer. It's not going to control me. After he'd have chemo, I'd say, go home, go to bed. He goes, no, I'm going to work. Checks presented from a soccer team. Here's Sam West and Panthers with a cause from Princess Anne Middle School pumping everyone up. What great kids. Everyone doing what they can to join the battle to beat cancer. The stakes are too high for us to lose. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.